Wyatt, thanks for taking the time. Uh, congratulations again, the Big 12 champion. Um, do you feel like you learned something from the first time through that helped you the second time? Yes. Um, obviously, with uh, more times going to that tournament, the more experience, the better and the more comfortable I kind of get with it. And uh, especially just leading into nationals because nationals is it's a one of a kind tournament. And so just kind of being in that position in the same arena a couple times I'm mean, wrestling those matches. I mean, I kind of knew, knew what to expect. So, I mean, it just becomes easier and easier to prepare for that. Let's talk about that a little bit because you're taking four guys along with you that have never gone before. Well, Sam was there last year as an alternate, but they've never been on that mat. Have you told them anything about what to expect? Not yet. Uh, mainly as soon as we get there, I mean, the, we have a home field advantage because this is at the BOK Center again. But we'll get there, we'll get comfortable, and I'll kind of give a just, I mean, they know what to expect, I think. Um, they've been and watched a couple times, but obviously as many tips as I can give them just to stay focused because the environment is its insane. It's awesome. So, I mean, obviously any way I can help them better the wrestling, which I can't really help better the wrestling. I mean, mental side and just some things to anticipate. So I'm going to help them in any way I can as soon as we get there. What did you learn last year when you went in highly touted I know you spoke to me before it you had really high hopes maybe didn't play out like you wanted it to what did you learn from that tournament that you can take into this one so each time I go I learn more and more so just backing up two years to my freshman year when I went I didn't know what to expect and so that was just like trial and error of me doing everything and then last year um, definitely the biggest thing is it's it's unlike any other tournament ever and um, some other tournaments, you might be able to have some easier matches in the beginning, and then later on in the tournament, it starts to get pretty tough. But NCAA is, I mean, first match, you're, you're wrestling ranked guys. And so last year, the biggest thing for me was, which I didn't do very well, is taking it one match at a time. I was really focused on the later on match, maybe the quarters or the semifinals, when I was overlooking, you know, my second round match, which is I ended up losing. And so definitely just... Um, being humble about it and want, taking it one match at a time and obviously I might wrestle those guys later on in the tournament but you know it doesn't matter how much you anticipate for it if you never even get to wrestle them. Exactly how do you stay humble though especially at this point Big 12 champion twice that's a big deal especially around here and now you know going in is the number two seed so if people look at it on paper they go okay the only guy this guy should lose to is number one I mean how do you stay focused stay humble? So it's definitely um, kind of the mental side of things. I've been growing mentally, and I'll continue to grow for a long time mentally. Um, and so just for strategies and stuff like that, that I've learned every single year. And um, one of the biggest things for that is, uh, I lost my train of thought there for a second. When, you, when you're getting ready to wrestle those, um, those big matches, those big guys, um, you can't wrestle any different than you do when you're wrestling, you know, a guy who, like, a the duels we've wrestled this year. And so definitely going out in there and just sticking to your game and not changing any of your wrestling, that's that's important. Are there, are there people, have you, I mean, I don't know how long, how far along this sport is. Do you watch the other wrestlers that you're going to be wrestling against, what their maybe their favorite moves are, things like that, or you just go onto the mat and see what you can do? So I really just, I focus on myself and what I can control. Um, obviously, when I get closer to those matches, I mean, the coaches are looking, like everyone has a signature move. And so, I mean, I'm not changing my wrestling style, but I'm being aware of what they might do. I mean, those big wrestlers, they have, like, those key moves, and so I'm not going to alter my wrestling at all, but I am going to, like, okay, hey, let's be aware that this guy's got a really nice blast double. Or, hey, he, you know, he rides really well on top, stuff like that. Got you. How do you uh, – what has made you so successful? What has made you a two-time Big 12 champion? Definitely just the coaches and the environment, my teammates. Um, I mean, you're only as good as your partner, and then here, like, I got guys that are willing to push me. Um, couldn't, couldn't do any of this on, on my own, that's for sure. And so just being able to be blessed in an environment like this and have the coaches that care about me and – because, I mean, they support me on the wrestling mat and in academics. Like, I'm excelling academically and militarily at the same time, which is that's something to be proud of for me. And so just having the support system in this group of, group of guys, is that makes all the difference. Fantastic. Wyatt, thanks for the time. Good luck to you. Thank you very much.